Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have another book crate unboxing for you. So I'll just open it. So this is the second box which Upgrade have sent me to do an unboxing of. So let's open it up. Yes, this will be my topic. I love how they add little different stickers now into their stuff. So this must be the supplies. I will take this out best I can without opening it. We have the zine, our battle post, as Upgrade like to call it, which I will open in a bit. We have a little card that says have fun mate. This must be stickers or something. Then we have some thin pieces of paper. Oh wow. Is this gold leaf or something? A bit of gold there. And then we have some lovely artwork which is by Art Fusion. I feel like I've heard of those before. Wow look at their artwork amazing and then we have some more stickers here so yeah I think what we'll do is I will open this letter first and then I'll open the supplies oh neat they just put the other stuff in that they did last time some more stickers. Wow, this is a lot of upgrade stickers. Did any of you get all this in your box? Wow, my sticker collection is through the roof at the moment. Yeah, I love it. Okay, I'll just shove them back in there, so let's say. Right, let's move on to the supplies. Some stuff's already fallen out. So I might as well just tip it, tip it all out. Anything else in here? Nope. Oh wow. So we have some gouache. Gouache. I love gouache paints. Oh wow, look at these. I've not heard of this brand before, so this is going to be interesting. Then we have a beautiful brush. Look, oh, Centra Pen. We had one of these in, in white from the Scrawler Box box, I think. It really is thin. I don't think my camera's focusing right these days. And then we have a something pen. I've not heard of this before. When I first saw this little logo here, I thought it was Bic because it kind of looks similar. Oh wow, this is going to be a really cool box. Right, I think what we'll do is swatch the supplies and then get into making something. I almost forgot about the uh, battle post here. 25 times mystery crates from mysterious mines. So this tells you the supplies that are included. Well, there's some, oops, I've skipped a page. A little bit about the gouache and then how many different colours they have. Transfer foil, that's what it's called. Wow, and then we've got a glue stick. Ah, that's what it is. Some more information on the paper and the pen. The artist. Do you want to go and follow them? I think it's Art Fusion on Instagram underscore underscore right there some tips on gouache message of the month a little bit more about the artist Got all these tips I'm gonna have to read <laughs> Oh, 
Oak Crates boxes are just getting amazing. Really do love how they put stuff together. Plus I love how it's all pirate themed as well. I'm gonna have some fun with these. Right, let's get to it. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have an up crate unboxing for you and this one is the September's box. So what I'm going to do is just read through all about the supplies. So it says here, Ahoy art crew! Maybe you've already been greeted by a golden twinkle when you first opened this box. Your crate comes with a little treasure that grants your future art and craft projects and it, and it, uh, <laughs> A new unique shine I don't know why that was hard to say expand your creative horizons and enjoy experimenting with your new art supplies so the first supply that was included in the box was the art gouache extra fine and the brand is T talons I've never even heard of this brand before or used this type of gouache the only gouache I've used is the um, Winsor Newton one and then the Himi gouache so this is going to be interesting so this poster colour is highly pigmented and opaque the line of the brand gouache extra fine quality contains 60 bright colours that also completely cover the painting's surface and dry flatly in your treasure chest you will find an opaque white Naples yellow red permanent pink magenta and cyan an assortment of primary colours and a white to lighten your colour mixes. So in the battle post it does give you a big colour chart of all the colours and they all look really really cool. Um, and it also says a little bit about talent so I'm going to read that too. Creativity is one of the most powerful human assets. It stimulates our ability to express ourselves, to learn and to connect. It has the power to make the world a better place. Ever since we discovered that in 1899 it has been our goal to, to stimulate as many people possible to express their creativity. Now when I first put these gouache colours down I thought they looked absolutely amazing and obviously you can get a wide range of colours from the four colours that they gave us which is really cool. The next supply that was included was the Folia glue stick which I'd never really heard of before. <laughs> And it says here, the flexible and functional two-in-one glue stick from Folia is definitely going to stick with you. <laughs> Thanks to its narrow pen tip, two to five millimetres, it can also be used to for detailed gluing work. The glue stick can be applied so precisely that you can even write with it. Once applied, the adhesive calligraphy can be wrapped in transfer foil and re refined with glitter. Whether paper, metal, plastic or glass, the glue stick is suitable for a wide variety of surfaces. It sticks permanently when it is dried but it can be removed again if you moisten it after use. So I don't like this glue stick. I tr I tried obviously shaking it and then obviously pumping it because that's what it said to do. But the glue just wasn't coming down at all and uh, I just ended up using a normal glue stick <laughs> to use the foil transfer. So next up we have transfer foil um, and it says wow look there's gold in your box. <laughs> the DIY and art world shines a little brighter thanks to Folia's transfer films. Whether paper, cork or clay you can make any creative project glitter and glimmer with it. While the list of compatible surfaces is endless, the foil is also incredibly easy to use. Simply draw on your material with the provided ad adhesive stick and press the film on it until it sticks. Now, I thought this worked pretty well. I don't think I've ever used transfer foil before, but I've seen a lot of people use it in their videos. So yeah, I was very impressed with this one. And no painting supplies should come without a brush, so they included the Habico brush, 123A size 6, 
which I think is a very unique name. And it says here, Habico is paintbrush manufacturer founded in 1903 that prioritises on high quality craftsmanship to this day. Their brushes stand for sensitivity, precision, thanks to a slim tip and high rebound force which keeps the bristles and fibres in shape. The brush in your box has been coated in green transparent paint and a round tip made of Sablon synthetic fibres. Now, I really liked this brush, I think it worked well with the gouache and water. Um, there's not really much I can say really, I just think it's a good brush. The next supply that was included in the box was the Centra pen, um, which we have seen before. So it says here, this document proves special ink lasts for at least 50 years and makes the these pens the ideal tool for preserve informa information over generations. If Captain Crate was to draw a treasure map, he would use a centre pen with an ergonomic handle and metal tips of various widths. The ink is waterproof and light fast and can be combined with other materials. Now I agree with this because we, I have used many centre pens as we have been given them in the scroller boxes. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this pen. Next up, we have the Canson A5 200G Mixed Media Imagine. So they didn't provide a booklet, they just provided three sheets in the crate. So it says here, the silky velvet paper from Canson has a basis weight of 200 gm, which makes it sturdy mixed media paper that can be used with dry techniques as well as watercolour and gouache paints. The natural white colour offers a wonderful canvas for harmonious colours, representations and high contrasts. On top of that, the paper is acid free and does not yellow. <laughs> the minimal, the minimal, why does that sound weird when I say it? The mi minimal, minimal graininess of the paper makes it particularly suitable for hand lettering and establishing seamless colour gradients. So yeah, that's all the supplies that were included in this month's Upcrate box. You'll have to leave a comment below what you think of the supplies and whether you got this Upcrate box or not and what you think of it. For the piece of art, I'll just quickly say that I just picked a random portrait on Pinterest and then just coloured it in. Um, Looking at it right now as it's dried, the paper has warped a little, but not too much, so I don't think it's much of a bad thing. Um, and the foil did stick in some places, but that might be because I didn't let it dry enough before I did that. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below what you think, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye.